Hi guys, what's up, Jason here, and welcome back to a brand new FIFA 18 Inform Player Review on my channel. So in today's video, guys, I'm going to be reviewing 84 rated second inform Mohamed Al Yunusi. Now looking at this guy's card stats, he has a very, very good stats in the pace, shooting, passing, and dribbling category, and also in the physical category at 74, it is pretty decent. He has a four-star weak foot, the five-star skill moves, and this guy is only 11,000 coins, which is absolutely insane. And in the 12 matches I did play with him, he managed to score me 12 goals from the left mid and left wing position so you know all around this card just looks like an absolute hidden gem and a really cheap beast and he's going to be one of those players who okay you can't really fit him into your team but you can definitely use him as a super sub and for those people who don't really have too many coins um, this card will be a great option for you so as you can see there he's got the 92 acceleration 85 sprint speed 94 agility and 91 balance he also has really good long shots at 81 and 88 shot power along with 86 volleys and then this guy also has a 90 three stamina so we can basically run for the whole match um, without getting tired and as well as this he also has 88 dribbling so this guy's dribbling is also a very very good so guys this has been the in-game stats now let's get into the highlights so now moving into the highlights for second inform Al Yunusi, we're going to start off with the pros. Now the first pro I could find on this card was his long shots. Now even though this guy only has 81 long shots and 88 shot power, um, he just seems to perform better long shots in game in my opinion. A lot of the times from the edge of the box um, and just outside the box, this guy you know smashed the ball off the crossbar and also scored a few um, nice goals from outside the box. And for some reason some of the goals in this video, um, I can't really find where they are. Um, I use the Xbox to record all my gameplay and for some reason sometimes when I record clips um, the Xbox doesn't save it you know save like the storage is full um, so a few of the clips again I've lost a few of the goals um, due to that reason um, but hopefully I can find them eventually but as you can see now moving into the next pro and that is this guy's dribbling now this guy has 88 dribbling and you can definitely feel that in game he has really really nice dribbling for scaling with and again he's one of those players who um, is really good at performing a skill move then going straight into the next skill move um, just because of his dribbling style you know the way it sort of just takes that sort of heavy touch in a way um, just you know get it out of his feet and then move into the next skill move and then the final pro I could from this card was his agility and this is actually his key stat at 94 this guy's agility is a very very good and you can definitely feel that when performing skill moves um, he changes directionally um, direction and um, performs skill moves very very quickly this guy also has high medium work rates what again isn't too bad for a winger um, high low probably would be better but apart from that um, this card is very very good he has five star skill moves and the four star weak foot so we can also finish on his weaker left foot very nicely um, as you can see there there's a nice example just right into the bottom corner past the goalkeeper after the two wacker wackers um, I couldn't really find any big um, cons with this card that's why I've left that section empty um, you maybe you could find a few cons with this card if you played like a few more matches or use them in foot champs but for me I couldn't really find any major cons with this card um, so overall I would definitely recommend to pick up this card he's just so so cheap at the moment and even for like an investment I think this card would be decent just because he is an 84 rated in form and he's going for like 11,000 coins so you know if EA do release an SBC um, where you do need higher rated in forms and Al Yunusi will be a very very good player and it will definitely rise up in price so say even if you're not really going to use this guy um, too often you could also buy you know like one or two of him um, just use him as a super sub whenever you need him and then eventually when EA do release an SBC where you do need you know high rated informs you could use this card but anyway guys this has been the highlights now let's get into the overview So now moving into the overview for second inform Al Yunusi, the first thing I'm going to rate him on is a value for coins. Now I decided to give him a 10 out of 10 just because as I've already mentioned earlier on, this guy is so so cheap for an 84 rated inform card with some really nice stats. Enjoyment wise, I'm going to give this guy an 8 out of 10, a very fun card to use. You know, he's got the 5 star school moves, got really good pace, really good shooting, um, good passing and a good dribbling, you know, just all round a very good card. Competitiveness wise, I'm going to give this guy a 7.5 out of 10. Um, the main reason it isn't any higher is just because it's really hard to link up and fit into your teams so you know when building a team for foot champs if you're trying to fit this guy into your team you're sort of going to have to um, sort of put other players in your team to you know give this guy chemistry and they may not be as good as him um, so you know I think overall I'll just recommend to use this guy as a super sub and then skilling wise I'm going to give this guy a 7.5 out of 10 looking back at some of the clips I probably maybe would have made that an 8 out of 10 um, but overall I'm going to give this guy an 8 out of 10 as well so guys if you have enjoyed this player review and want to see more FIFA 18 player reviews on my channel don't forget to leave a like on the video and subscribe thanks for watching and see you next time